How's it going everyone? I'm Flaw Magnus and today I'm taking a look at the Xbox One Titanfall beta. Now it's a beta so that means some things are subject to change. So anyways, we're going to take a look, uh, I mean it's a game with the video, but um, Titanfall is published by EA, <laughs> which uh, isn't the best thing, I guess. A lot of money though, and that's important, and developed by Respawn Entertainment. Now, Respawn Entertainment, uh, as far as I know, this is the only game they've ever made as a studio. But as developers, they are all former employees of, uh, or Activision, I guess. They made Call of Duty, right? Modern Warfare, if I'm right. They made Modern Warfare 2 some. Uh, I'm not sure. I think they were Infinity Ward. So they know how to make a competitive shooter. Now, that's not what this is all about. It's really more about, is this the next generation of competitive shooters, uh, first-person shooters. That's what everyone's looking to do. They're all trying to make the next-gen... Uh, you know, every developer's trying to now uh, define next-gen, and uh, Respawn's uh, go at it is Titanfall, which is a multiplayer-only uh, first-person shooter, competitive first-person shooter, that is coming out on March 11th, 2014 for Xbox One and PC, and if I'm right, two weeks later for 360. So it's a Microsoft exclusive for the most part. Um, so there are a lot of, there's uh, I can play the beta training mode, which just kind of teaches the ropes of the game. Uh, pilot loadouts, which, uh, hold on, let me go to the options real quick. Uh, so you got controller settings, button stick layout. Uh, there's a few, but uh, obviously, you know, look sensitivity, and I have a problem with the look sensitivity. It's uh, low, default, which is medium, and then high. And then it goes from very high and set to insane. I don't like how it's just low, medium. Low, medium, different highs. I don't like that. I feel like they should uh, just give you like the number system. I like the number system more, to be honest. I'm going to move the mic real quick. Sorry if it makes a bump. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of think they should fix that. And then the invert, uh, drift guard, and vibration, all that's on. Automatic sprint, always, delayed, never. I would go never. Uh, master volume, I'm going to lower it a little bit. And then music, reduce, full. And then subtitles, on, off. And then hood margin, uh, can't do anything about that. Sorry, right now. Uh, I do have some issues with this. Now, again, this is beta, so I'm hoping this will all change, but it may not. Uh, or some of it will change. There isn't a colorblind assist, and I think there should be. Because, uh, you know, if, you have, if you're colorblind, <laughs> um, you really want it to have some. And uh, there's no game audio, I'm not sure. If there should be any, yeah, okay, there's a little bit of game audio, my bad. Um, it is concerned. It is very quiet in the menus. Uh, but the, the audio of the game is very nice, and it's a very, uh, very nice looking game. Uh, so challenges. What was I saying? Those should be colorblind. Yeah, yeah, And they should definitely fix the, um, or add some more sensitivity options. I think go with the number system. You can go up to 10, 1 to 10. Do it that way. Um, so challenges are just things you can do while playing the game online to get a little bit of extra experience points. And that's all fine. And then there's subcategories. I don't have Titan yet unlocked. It'll be level 10. I'm only level 8. Uh, personal stats is pretty good, but uh, the overview and all that is really good. But there is a uh, last game summary. So it's not great. Um, as you can see, you can break it down to things, but this doesn't really tell me how I did like overall. What was my KD ratio? I have no idea. So uh, this is also like this is the post game menus or yeah menu that comes up after a round win, or finishes. It's not great. Um, all this is great, I guess right here. This is all fine and dandy, but I don't really have a feel for how I did. So I would very much like they could finish this now. Burn cards. I don't know how you get these. You may you might just unlock them, and basically they're just little add-ons for your uh, characters, uh, not individually, but you to kind of make the deal a little bit better. Uh, right now I have uh, faster pilot movement and so you know, I press take legs like a little faster. I have other options of course with uh, anti-titan weapons and stuff. So that's neat. Uh, titan loadouts. There are three types of titans uh, in, well if I'm right, these aren't different types of titans, these are titan loadouts. So you can't customize your titan in the beta. There's only one type of titan you can use and that's the atlas which is your standard titan. Uh, or yeah, so far now there are other titans in the full game. This is advertised that there are, so I assume there are. Right now you can do uh, a chain gun, which is like a, you know assault rifle, uh, 
which is the assault, the tank, which comes with the 400 millimeter cannon, which is semi-auto and does more damage than the assault rifle. And then the artillery is a quad rocket, which fires four rockets, either in burst or all at once. It's up to you. Uh, pilot loadouts, you've got uh, three custom spots. I, it might change, you might be able to get more, I'm not sure, uh, in the uh, full game, couldn't tell you. Uh, you've only got these weapons to, look, uh, to have. Uh, I don't have this, uh, I'll get it in the next round, so I might be able to show you how the sniping works soon. So, uh, and then you got uh, you know, shotgun, carbine, uh, smart pistol, which is neat, and I'll show you, and the submachine gun, and the sniper, I don't know how it works. And then your anti-titan weapons is a really good against titans. In fact, you can only use the um, uh, archer heavy rocket against titans, and the sidewinder is a strong little weapon too. Sidearms is only two pistols, uh, as an auto, fully automatic one. Tactical abilities, uh, just a little extra. You guys know how this stuff works, like frag grenade and stuff like that, and then these are like perks. Oh, and then you can change the gender. So yeah. So uh, I'll get into the, uh, there's also training mode, which uh, you have the option to do when you first start. I already did it, so I'm not going to show it off. You've got three game modes. You've got Attrition, which is Team Deathmatch, Hardpoint, which is Domination, and Last Titan Standing, where you have to um, have the team that has the Last Titan Standing. And uh, I did a, f act I'll, I'll be doing an actual video on each of these individually. Uh, I don't really break them down, but just playing them. So yeah, and then a variety pack, which is like, play at random. So, you know, that's neat. And uh, I guess I do hard point because it's longer. So, uh, this is the loading menu. It's, it's a loading menu. Not a lot happens, just a picture really. But I like it. It's pretty. It looks pretty. Angel City. I couldn't tell you what the story is. I have no idea. Nope. Feels like there's two factions fighting each other, but uh, I don't know that for a fact. Yeah, I'm gonna take a drink of water really quick. Here. I actually already uh, did uh, first impressions of this game, but I scrapped it. All right, so I'm gonna go with just this one. Huh, maybe that's just a different startup. That's pretty. So, you'll look around first. Uh, oh, first of all, it's a 6v6 uh, game, except there are bots. And uh, the bots just add a little extra something to the game. I think that's neat. Uh, does it... Oh, God, I just got assault. I just got uh, executed, so that's no good. Um, I had to mute real quick. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I don't want to have to do this in the first impressions. I didn't get that last person. Okay, there we go. So here we go. I do notice, um, I do seem to kind of move to the left a little bit, over so slightly sometimes, but I don't know if that's my controller or if that's my, um, um, or if that's the game. Uh, my controller did take a uh, nasty fall recently. I didn't throw it out of anger. It just took a fall <laughs> off my desk and kind of hit some stuff. Okay. I'm lost. Okay. Sorry about that. Not doing great. Alright, so the assault rifle works how you'd imagine a assault rifle would work. I'm going to actually switch to this one because this has the smart pistol. The other one's a shotgun. That's a Titan. It's not my Titan. But uh, my Titan's still waiting about an hour, an hour, a minute and a half or so. And there's a cooldown. I like that. Okay, so the smart pistol. Damn it. Didn't get the chance. They actually got me with it. Uh, here, I'll just show you on this one. Uh, on bots, it's an auto hit. Or it's an auto lock and it kills. But on um, pilots, which are player controlled, uh, it has to lock on three times, and that takes a certain amount of time. So yeah, it's it's a fun weapon to use, and it's really good, uh, but it is dangerous, and I will say that. As you can see, I just took out three or four uh, bots right there. I don't know what they're called. Bots seems right since they're all robots, but I don't know if that's true. Okay. So there's a titan fight going on, and I have a titan weapon, which I can use to fight people with, but really my, uh, like, your primary is actually, to me, a lot, seems a lot better. Okay, I didn't get to them. Alright, here we go. Damn it, teammate got to them. Oh, well. I'm not doing great. I'm sorry about this. Uh, hey, <laughs> that's a titan. You can hop on the titans and try to destroy them, and, uh, that's really good. Alright, so that was a person, I think, that got me. 
I'm going to keep with this class because I like it. Okay, so my Titan's ready, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Titan. Now, you don't have to get in the Titan. You can have it just follow you around, or you can have it guard a location. And it's actually, honestly, I think my Titan without me is better than with it uh, with me inside of it. I am not very competent. Uh, now I imagine, okay, this is a shield thing going on. And uh, right now, I seem to be doing pretty damn well. I can see, you can see my health. Oh, he tried to bring me into a fight that I do not need to get involved with right now. There's another Titan over there. Yeah. I'd probably want to stay away from that. Is that an enemy Titan or a friendly? That looks like an enemy. That's a multiple friend. Oh, okay. I'm not going to do great against this. Alright. Tell you what, I'm going to bail. <laughs> um, I'm going to have my Titan kind of just stand there doing some damage. If I can get him to just... Oh, he got destroyed. Okay, well. You can't win them all, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna try to get in here. Alright, um, trying to cap this point real quick, which uh, works exactly how you'd imagine it would. Oh, Jesus, yep. Yeah. Alright, so I am not really the best class for that, because the smart pistol is fun, but close quarters, it'll get you killed. That is just how that works. But it is a really fun thing to use, and it's very tactical. That's a sniper. Uh, I would uh, say how that works, but I don't know yet. Alright. Um, ah, yeah, where are they? The parkour element in this game, by the way, works, uh, I'd say surprisingly well. It actually works very well. And uh, that is good because that is obviously the main appeal of the game, is the parkour. And that's how it's different. All right, yeah, got that guy. I'm not crazy about the shotgun, actually, but there might, uh, that's all there is in the beta. I, there might be another one later. But I, I like using the class just because you can get close, up close and personal. And that, oh, that's a... So yeah, it's basically, you can wall jump, and that works. How you'd probably imagine it would. You can also ride on uh, teammates' titans. Oh, sh shit. Uh, you can also get on top of enemies' titans, which I think I'll show off real quick. If I can get up. All right, my bad. I'm <laughs> I'm playing very sloppy because I'm trying to explain. I'm also not very good because, I mean, hey, I just started playing the game today. I played it for an hour or two, and this is a first impressions video, so that's all that I think is necessary. I'm going to actually hop on my uh, teammate's Titan here, ride it into the fray, maybe use it to get a little boost real quick. All right, this is another teammate's Titan. I got crushed by Titan. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. All right, my Titan's ready, and I'm just gonna have it when it falls. Can come down right there, huh? I'm not gonna get inside of it. I am going to. All right, so it's in guard mode. Okay, now it's follow mode, which is what I have it in right now. It means it will uh, stay near me and uh, kind of fight things along the way. Now, if I can, that was me. Okay. Okay, it's really rough to do that. So just because you die doesn't mean your Titan does. I'm not having a lot of uh, luck getting on enemy Titans right now. It's it's kind of rough. Uh, you have to, from right, you have to press X to do so. If not, I'm just pressing X a lot. Okay, uh, I am not doing well. I'm missing a lot. Uh, hmm. So it all works pretty well, like, together, except there is one thing I have an issue with, and is that because there's so much parkour emphasis, there's no slide... Uh, there's no power slide, and I feel like this is the game that would have a power slide, but it doesn't. And what is up with that? Why doesn't this game have a power slide? <laughs> but uh, it's good. So 6v6 is, actually isn't bad, although sometimes it does feel like the uh, map is a little, is a little bit uh, big. But uh, it doesn't take you long to get into the action, so that's always that's a good thing. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to back up. They are gonna wreck me. I'm gonna take this mofo. Kick. Uh, that actually seemed like that was. Oh god, I didn't notice that Titan's there. So we lost. Uh, when I get to evacuate, I will. Okay, so now this is your. Um, I guess you can say post uh, game meta game. I'm gonna get killed though. 
Alright, so you need to try to make it to an evac zone and a epilogue. You gotta get to the drop ship and uh, while the other enemy tries to kill you. And I, uh, I've only made it successfully back to it um, once myself. It's pretty hard. But yeah, so Titans, they're strong. <laughs> it's a little bit buggy there. You just ripped them out, but it didn't really look like that. Uh, they're tough, and they're pretty scary to go up against, especially when you're a pilot, not a Titan. But, that being said, oh, see, this person should make it. There it went. So, uh, they're rough, like, to be around. They're kind of terrifying, but they can get destroyed, as a person can take down a Titan, and, uh, Titan can obviously take down a person. So, it's, the Titan works very well, I will say. And uh, I will do a video on like uh, last Titan scene. So I didn't do great, as you can see. I went negative. I didn't help my team out that much. So yeah, but that's a uh, Titanfall beta on Xbox One. It's pretty good. I, I I'll, I'll say that it's fun, and I am definitely looking forward to the uh, full game to come out in March. And uh, oh, and servers. I should talk about this and didn't think about it. Servers work. Um, pretty well. <laughs> um, I haven't had any problems connecting. I, I've seen that some people may have had some trouble, but I haven't personally. I've played a few rounds, and I've even turned off my Xbox and tried it again, and, uh, you know, still worked. No problem. So, yeah. So that's Titanfall. That's Titanfall Beta. And, uh, if you guys liked the video, leave a like. If you have anything you want to ask or talk about in, uh, the comments, go ahead and do that, and I'll, uh, try to answer them if I can, if I didn't get to them in here. And uh, if you want to see more, you can check out my channel and uh, subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys next time.